Jacqueline from Fabulous Paper Emporium, and we are on the second to last day of Craftsmas in July. I hope that you've had, um, found some inspiration, had a good time watching my tutorials. Um, I really had a ton of fun. So, uh, we're going to get to the fun part, which is the decorating. So <laughs> I've got my roof, I've got my album, I have my pieces um, that I'm gonna share with you as to what it is that I've done. So <clears throat> again, the paper pack that I've been using is a Lumberjack Christmas. And so it came with um, a page that had, uh, we've got a lot of cut apart, so this page, actually had two tags so I've cut those off of this page um, you could certainly cut off these tags as well but I they're more like gift tags so I haven't bothered with those um, there's also another page which is this page beautiful tags here but I felt like they were just a little bit larger than what I needed even these tags I'm not a hundred percent sure if I'm gonna be using these or not but I did find uh, an entire page of, um, now I don't know if these were necessarily cut aparts or not, but there were, it was just a ton of, a ton of these little things all over the page. So since I figured I could fussy cut them, I have gone ahead, fussy cutted them. I've added a little bit of, um, these, uh, Nouveau drops to kind of add a little bit more dimension and interest to them. So I chose the, um, there's a gunmetal liquid mercury, sorry, is one of the colors and then red berry. Now I have not used a lot of these Nouveau drops, admittedly the, okay, well they've kind of flattened out. It was weird. The red berry came out and it was really like gel like whereas the liquid mercury was entirely different so anyways that's kind of what I've done but I did I do see that as they dry they kind of flattened out because they look like I don't know they look like tall little Christmas trees <laughs> I was like that's not gonna work kind of like this yeah I guess these ones didn't really flatten out as much but you see those ones anyways not sure if that's correct or not not sure if that's an old um, container of Nouveau drops or not, but anyways, that's not a problem. Anyway, so those are going to be used to decorate the inside of the pages. So, um, to get started, to get started, we'll start with our roof because our roof is relatively simple. I'm going to move some of these pieces that I've got in front of me off to the side. So the roof can be covered in a couple of different ways. And <clears throat> what I mean by that is it's, it really is personal preference. So for my roof, I'm going to, de I've decided that I am going to, um, leave a little strip at the top and the bottom, and I'm going to cut this off as after I apply it. So this way I am going to have a little bit of overhang as you can see on either side, but I'm just going to take my, my scissors and cut that off afterwards. If you wanted to have it full coverage, then you can certainly do that. If you wanted to have it so that the, um, you had a border uh, around the outside as well, that is something I'm going to have to figure out because, um, you're obviously going to have to have this, the angle cut on either side. So, I haven't quite figured that out and it wasn't, you know, because, well, it was mainly because I had chosen not to do that, but that's just because I really like the idea of just having a clean line kind of at the top and the bottom and then leaving the rest really flush. So that is what I'm going to do for this one. And so I am going to, I'm just going to apply the glue on my paper like so I know I'm going to end up cutting off some of that glue which I prefer in a perfect world I don't like doing but I'm just going to grab my garbagey scissors <laughs> and then we'll cut with that okay so I'm going to turn that on its 
front so that I can really press down. See, I really like that look. I really, really like it. Okay, so these are my garbagey scissors. So it doesn't matter if I go through some glue. And I've just got it pressed up against the side of the roof. And voila. Okay, I'm going to do that to the other side. Okay, so the roof part is done. And as I was cutting it, I realized I've not even given you the measurements for this. So um, this measures, these two pieces, the decorative paper, measured six, uh, sorry, seven and a quarter by two and a quarter. If you wanted to have it go from top to bottom, then you would cut it at two and a half and then you could just apply it and trim just like I did. So my roof is at least partially done. I'm still gonna wanna cover the top, excuse me, the top part and the sides. And I have those pieces here, I believe. Yep, so we've got two little pieces. Now these ones I've just cut so that they are, um, you know, there's just a fine strip going down the middle and then uh, two little squares at, the, at either side. So those pieces are not, um, sorry, I've given a border on all four sides for these pieces. So this piece, I'm sorry, I don't think I've written this down anywhere because it was kind of late last night. Okay, so this one is six and a quarter by one and a quarter, and that's gonna lay right there. And then these two pieces, I believe, are one and a quarter by one and a quarter, yes. So you need two pieces that are one and a quarter by one and a quarter, and one piece that is six and a quarter by one and a quarter. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply these. There we go. So we've got our roof covered. Perfect. Now we are going to get into kind of the cover of our album as well as the inside pages. And so for the cover of the album, all of these are cut at six by eight. And I'll tell you why. Normally I wouldn't leave that much border but I really didn't want to um, cut six and a half, or sorry, six and a quarter. That would, extra quarter inch would have meant that I would have had to have used twice as much designer paper. So yes, I could have made the album smaller, but initially I was just trying to make it duplicate what I had seen, which was six and a half by eight and a half. So it's up to you um, how you want to decorate it. But all in all, when I bring my album in, and I lay this on top, I feel like it's a pretty, it's, it's, it's still very pretty. And you can even mat this layer too, which is something that I have entertained. If you have, let's say like a darker brown, um, which I have, or a green, which I have, or a red, let's pull out a couple of different options here because it's still something I am kind of entertaining. Where did my brown paper go? There we go. So here are some options that you would have. So we could do a layer of, you know, six and a quarter by eight and a quarter, and then lay our paper down. I kind of like the brown. I really like the brown. <laughs> There's a green, which is kind of like an olivey green, not exactly Christmassy, which I don't quite like. <clears throat> and then there's a red, of course, which is very Christmassy. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with the brown. And um, you can obviously also layer these, but I don't feel like for the inside, our inside pieces or our inside pages rather are six and a quarter by eight and a quarter. So you are going to have kind of like your average border. Um, so you're not going to have to layer anything on the inside. So 
let me get to cutting. I'm going to cut two of the pieces of the brown and I will be right back. Okay, so I've cut two pieces of brown cardstock that are measure six and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And that's going to layer up nicely with my wood grain pattern, which is the outside outside. And the wood grain pattern is six by eight. So I'm just going to layer those up now off the album. And like I said before, if you want to design your paper and decorate your, your pages before they go onto the signatures, you can definitely do that. I kind of, now that the signatures are in there, I'm just going to decorate them as they, as they lay. So they will be in the album and hopefully there's no mistakes. <laughs> Now, one thing I just remembered I did not do is I have not inked my edges, which I'm kind of sad about now, but it's kind of too late. I mean, if you really, really, really wanted to do it, I suppose I could peel it back or um, cut off the brown and ink the edges and then come back and uh, apply more of the brown paper, but I'm not going to do that it's, it's, it doesn't mean quite that much to me. So I'm going to put that face down so I can apply a bit of pressure. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention now, because I forgot it was like the, the last two pieces. And I guess I got sidetracked with the whole, um, doing the uh, roof the last time that I forgot to give you the measurement for the piece that goes on the front inside and the back inside and this measures uh, eight and a quarter by six and a quarter so if you cut two pieces that match your um, cardstock that you used for the outside as well as the hinge then you'll have a nice um, uh, nice finished inside. Okay, so there we have our front and back of our little cabin. Okay, so um, the other thing that we're going to be covering as well, even though it's going to go technically like on the bottom, is we are going to be covering our spine. I'm choosing to do the exact same as what I did on the front and the back. So for that, I have, I have to erase this first. Last time I put my measurements right in the middle of my paper. So I have one piece that measures six and a quarter by one and three quarters with the decorative piece that goes on top and that measures six by one and a half. So I'm just gonna layer those up. And I apologize, I'm kind of, I feel like I'm all over the place right now. <laughs> I don't know why. But all of the measurements as I usually try to do are in the description. And if they're not in the description when you're watching it, they will be in the description uh, below um, at some point today, which is, what day are we? <laughs> I feel like we are the 24th, we're the 24th, of course, um, because tomorrow's the 25th and Craftsmas Day. Okay, so there is our album. The outside is right now done. Um, I will... Mm, okay, I'm going to go with the on the inside. <laughs> I'm like really super excited to show you what I have planned for the outside. But for the inside, I basically have cut 12 of these, um, 12 of the designer papers. Well, actually I've cut six. So I've gone six by eight when you're cutting these. So let's say this is my sheet that I'm cutting. I'm going to turn it and cut it at eight first. If you're wanting to get 
if it's double-sided, right, which most of them are, let's say that this isn't a, a um, cut apart. So you're going to cut it at eight. This gives you a strip that is still pretty usable. So this I can still use for a card. I can use it to decorate the inside. So you do want to leave yourself. Otherwise, you're left with two pieces that are, you know, you're, you're limited in terms of what you can do afterwards. So definitely cut at the eight, then cut it in half, and you'll be left with a lovely strip um, at the bottom. So these are, obviously I cut one of the cut aparts because this is a cut apart um, because there's only so many uh, double-sided sheets that don't include the cut apart. So there's another cut apart that I had to get into. And, um, but for the most part, I cut a sheet. So I've got one side, I've got the other side to that here. And um, I'm just gonna go throughout. I don't think that, I personally like to kind of separate the dark and the light and the plaids and, and things like that. I just, it's just what I like to do. <laughs> I try not to have too many similar patterns together. Like these three, I probably would not put all together. I'm going to separate that with something that maybe is a little bit darker or something that has a different pattern to it. So that is just personal preference again and it's just it's my thing I guess <laughs> so this way we have kind of like a an even dispersion dispersion I don't know if that's a word anyways the patterns are evenly spread out is what I'm trying to say oh the buffalo plaid is like my favorite 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 pattern of like all time there we go so we have light dark this could probably mm, 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 mm. if I put this one maybe here yeah I'm pretty I'm pretty good with that pretty good with that okay I mean, they're not going to be visible all from the, you know, naked eye. Okay, so all I'm going to do now is I'm going to run through my album. I'm going to install all of my pages. And then I will catch up with you when they're all done. Okay, so we are done now applying our pages so just to give you an idea this is what they look like now if you have directional patterns I obviously did it so that they all open like this if you are wanting to even though it's going to be displayed in this manner if you're wanting to to ultimately have your album look like this with your directional items or patterns going this way then you're going to have to rotate it and cut it um, differently so you're going to have to cut it at eight inches and then slice it at six if that makes sense so just as a note I'm keeping mine like this so that they're all like this because how uh, that's how I'm going to be decorating it so that's just like I said personal preference so what I've done for the outside I am so excited about this part so um, this is going to be the, like the last part uh, that I'm doing right now so I'm gonna bring in my little pieces for my outside and I've got my pieces here I believe I may have to do some measurements um, so I've cut a little door so all I did for this piece is I cut a piece that is one and a half by two and three quarters I scored it at three-eighths of an inch so there's three score marks 
and um, I just went over it with some vintage photo and a little bit of uh, espresso, something espresso. It's good espresso. <laughs> looking, madly looking for it now. Uh, ground espresso. So just to give me two variations of brown to give me some extra color on the outsides, which I did do for the inside pages, by the way. I did go over with some vintage photo on the edges, so all of these edges are inked. Did not make that mistake twice. Um, and then I punched a hole for the doorknob, and the doorknob is just gonna be a little black brad. Just pull that open, and then when you glue it down, like it will be glued down, when it gets glued down, it's not gonna go anywhere. Um, I did some beams <laughs> for around the door and this is just two layers of chipboard together and on the top it's the same cardstock that I used for the album. So these I believe go are going to go like this. Not sure really where I'm going to put this. I think it's going to kind of live like right there. So kind of like that. And these are, let me just see. Oh no, I did cut them differently. So I've got two pieces and these are cut at, or the lengths are two and three quarters by a half. So again, I've got two layers of chipboard plus a layer of the uh, cardstock on the top which is what I've inked. And I did ink, the, <clears throat> excuse me, I did ink the sides as well. Sorry, I think I need a drink. So that they're all the basically the same and they kind of look like, you know, wood beams that you would have around the outside of your door. So the other uh, thing that I have done is I created these windows. So these windows, when you're decorating your album, I had a mark there before, and that was just to give me an idea of where to stay under, because obviously I don't want these beautiful decorations to be hidden by my roof. So I'm going to probably put my windows in and around there. And so these windows, I just cut two pieces of white cardstock and the white cardstock is cut at one and a half by one and three quarters. And I used the um, a few of these Distress Oxides. So I had used the uh, Squeezed Lemonade, the Carved Pumpkin, and the Aged Mahogany to get this glow to make it look like there's a light on or, you know, and you can obviously change where the direction of the light is coming from. Anyways, I just thought it was so cute. I felt so proud, so smart. <laughs> um, and then the little uh, strips, again, just cut from the regular cardstock. And I went over, before I cut the cardstock, I took a piece of cardstock, let's say about this size, and I used the vintage photo and the ground espresso to go over the cardstock before I cut it. Because I found that cut, doing it the other way, cutting it and then trying to color it, it was, they're very fine pieces. So they end up getting crunched and munched and anyways, very frustrating. So that's what I would suggest. And then, so, I've got glue all over my fingers. So these little strips are, I've got, I cut two strips basically that are one and a quarter by an eighth of an inch. And so I place the one that goes um, vertically and then I cut, I applied and cut these two pieces. So if you can see, they're not laying on top of one another. They are these two pieces are like cut. So hopefully that makes sense. So all I needed there was I cut four strips that was that were an eighth of an inch by um, three, one and three quarters. And then I just applied them onto the, 
onto my windows. I do have a few of these strips which will go around the windows. So I've got, why do I have so many? Oh, that's because some are there different lengths. That's why. <laughs> okay. So you're going to need four of these strips. I've got a few too many, but you're going to need four of these strips, which are just going to go on either side. Okay. And these strips are one and three quarters by a quarter and so they go on all on the the outside left and right sides of the window that was this piece i have a couple of strips that are going to go at the top and the bottom and these ones are cut at two inches by a quarter sorry these are just going to go at the top because I cut longer strips for the bottom. So it's gonna be like that. And then I cut these longer strips, which are actually gonna lay on top a little bit. And these ones are cut at two and a half by three eighths. And they're gonna be something like that. So that's going to be how my outside is looking. And so all of the, all of the, um, measurements are going to be linked, uh, in the description box below. And, uh, tomorrow I will do some final decorating on the inside and then on the outside. I think I have this cute little Christmas tree die. I did cut them out and I was kind of finagling with them. So, um, but I accidentally, I don't know, I accidentally grabbed the gray instead of the, a green to go around the outside. So I will cut these again, but I cut off the star cause I didn't want them to read necessarily as Christmas trees, just more like maybe like little shrubs are going to go on either side of my little wood cabin. And then, um, yeah, we're, we're close to being done. So thank you so much for joining me today. Hopefully you have found this interesting. You found it useful, inspiring in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give me a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And it goes a long way to helping my channel grow. If you have any questions or comments below, please leave them for me. I read every single one and I do appreciate your feedback. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We have about another week to go in our giveaway. If you haven't seen that video, you should go look for it. <laughs> I will probably also try to put it up above so that you can uh, easily access that. Um, the giveaway is on August 1st, 2022. So uh, if you haven't already entered, be sure you to enter yourself for that because it will not disappoint. Um, I think that's it. So subscription, comments, like, don't forget to hit the bell for notifications. If you are uh, wanting to know every single time we post a new video or tutorial, tutorial, which we will continue to do. Hopefully you've had a fabulous time. I know I have. I, and I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. Thanks again for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye.